Thank you. Thank you. Guys, we just ordered for food. It's called chicken luwombo with... What is the chicken? Oh, maybe the chicken is coming. Oh my god. <laughs> I better have chicken because it's called because chicken you're not luwombo. without that chicken. <laughs> okay, let's wait. Let us be patient. It's called chicken luwombo. And but it has matoke. So you've been saying yeah. you want, you oh really want yeah, matoke. Yeah, I really want matoke. I want to try matoke. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken, chicken eh? luwombo. We are waiting for kuku. The same. Same, same thing. Tunangoja kuku. Tunangoja kuku. Wow, this is so nice. Oh. Hey. Hey. How do you make this? Hey. Oh my god, hey. you guys. Uganda, Uganda, Uganda is just eating guys. Where, where is the spoon? Because me, I'm not eating food with fork now. Uganda is just eating. You guys. This is chicken. I don't know how it's eating, but it's chicken. And it's cooked under matoke leaves. So. Ooh, and it's quite generous and this cost 15,000 Uganda This is fish Chicken, yeah. imagine Oh my god wanted fish Oh, they also have fish well. they, have, they have fish I want to see how their fish looks like I don't like fish in Uganda I tried it I didn't try it So this food cost 15,000 uh, 15, Ugandan shillings So guys, we want to try the chicken and get to see how it tastes mm -hmm. So it's called chicken luongo cooked and amatoke leaves. Cooked or served? Which is which? But it's, it, it's cooked and amatoke leaves. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my god. Amatoke leaves. I, I, I hope ni tamu. It's sweet. English, yeah. It's it's sweet. The orange juice. It's, this is orange juice. It costs two thousand Ugandan shillings. So this plus this costs seventeen thousand Ugandan shillings. Oh my God, this food is so worth it. I don't know how to say Kenyans. You need to style up your food. You need to up your game. Yes, me. I'm not eating it You need to up your game, Kenyans. You guys. <laughs> Ini kali, apa ini kuli? What is this? Ini kali. This is so this is so bitter. Very fresh. It's called black nightshade. It's so bitter. Mm. Very bitter. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Guys, their food is so organic. Like nothing here comes from the factory. Nothing is processed. The chicken is um, Kenyaji chicken. Uh, yes, and then it has it has taken like time to cook. You know, it's not like uh, it has been cooked in a pressure cooker or something. It has taken like the entire day for it to be done and perfectly done. And then the bonus side is that it has been covered by banana leaves for like the entire day. So. It comes here hot and fresh. Yo guys. So it's called chicken luwombo. <laughs> yeah. I can't forget I that. The luwombo. next time I'll be here in Uganda, I'll definitely try the chicken luwombo again. It's a must try food. And the orange juice freshly squeezed. Mm.
we are here at the border of <laughs> we are here at the border of Rwanda and Uganda Gatuna it's called Gatuna border post so guys welcome to Rwanda we are finally cleared to enter Rwanda now we are going to scan to scan our bag uh, here oh my god the line is so long in Rwanda unlike in Uganda so just trying to to hurry it's currently seven so the time is not that bad uh, yeah I'm so tired I haven't slept for the past two days the journey has been so long <sighs> so yesterday we arrived at uh, uh, Uganda at around seven uh, we crossed to the other side of Rwanda at around seven as well so literally took the entire 24 hours to get here it shows that it's so far plus the roads in Uganda are not that nice uh, from maybe um, from Jinja to Kampala they're not that nice but then coming to Rwanda the roads were so soft oh, okay guys so we're checking in our bags again apparently we forgot to take out our suitcases so we were told to go back again and check out and check our suitcases so yeah otherwise the country is so beautiful it's not cold but then there's mist as you can see from my background there's mist mist or fog yeah one of those <sighs> yeah so let me go check out check in my bag then we cross to the other side of Rwanda I'm so excited I'm so excited for Rwanda actually I was crossing fingers for us to get here in the morning so that I can fail you know at night I can't live, really do anything but then in the morning that's when I get to, I get like the entire light to film and show you the beautiful Rwanda so yeah stay tuned let the journey continue guys this is what i'm eating i'm eating their flat bread it's called chapati so soft you guys like so soft and like that of kenya so uh, this goes for around uh was it 750 franc yeah their money so i've eaten i, I, I forgot to show you guys how it looks like but then it's so nice so sweet Mm. very soft so so soft so i'm pairing this with coffee so i bought three chapatis and coffee yeah oh, i bought three chapatis and coffee and costed me three thousand franc franc dollars franc money rwandan money mm. and their coffee is also so nice like it tastes so nice and this is the border we are the border we haven't crossed we are still in the border so yeah i'm planning to cross right now to go to the wonder now we are heading to Kigali right now yeah. so see you guys on the other side it's official welcome to rwanda yeah so this is rwanda this is kigali the capital city of rwanda so behind me you can see that is kigali town uh, but then we're not going there right yes we'll take a tour later right now we are focusing to get to the project where it is located in rubavu it's like five hours away from kigali so we're still having five hours to travel to rubavu anyways i'm so happy Rwanda is such a beautiful country with a thousand hills. It has a lot of steep hills, has a lot of valleys, has a lot of mountains. So yeah, it's just such an amazing place. I can't wait to explore and go see how it looks like. Wow, this is so breathtaking. Um, I'm yet to confirm some things. Actually, it's so clean. I haven't seen any litter <clears throat> around me. It's so, so clean, uh, as they said. Uh, also, motorbikes carry people with helmets. Like, you can't ride a motorbike without a helmet so i uh, can't wait to try that as well so yeah officially welcome to rwanda kigali to be specific i hope you'll enjoy this vlog watch till the end and subscribe to the channel if you haven't 
Rwanda everyone and we are waiting to transition to a new bus we're going to with another bus to where we call rubav it's like three 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 hours to that place it's called rubav giseni rubav so it's very very far three hours again from kigali town so this is kigali town and uh we're going there so we're going to transition to another bus this is our overland everybody's uh has alighted this is the bus Ooh, they are coming Nice, nice, nice. Oh. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. You guys, we need you guys to smile. We are inside already. I'm so tired. I haven't showered for two days, two straight days. You can feel. Oh, hi. <laughs> Yay. How are you? I'm well, guys. To Rwanda, we are heading to Rubavu. Yes. And I can't wait to explore more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to Rubavu. We haven't showered for like two days. You can imagine how sticky we are. You know? Yeah. So we're gonna say bye to our big man. Welcome to this new small baby over here. Okay, guys. I don't know the name, but it's like a famous stop over here in Rwanda. Uh, I don't know the name. Do you know? Do you know the name of this stop over? He wanted to be featured. Mchiswande. Yeah, it's like our Mchiswande in Kenya, but then not in. Let's get the name. In 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 Rwanda? No, Kampala. This is Rwanda. This is Rwanda. Yeah. Oh, we are having fun. <laughs> Any, the Regardless. problem is the problem is we are having language barrier with locals. Yeah. So apparently they they speak uh, in Kenya Rwanda and French and a bit of English. So. <laughs> Ah, Naja. Guys, we are staying at this hotel. It's called The View Inn here in Rubavu. Oh, I'm so tired, you guys. I haven't slept for three days. Three good days. So, and today we are going to to have dinner with a bonfire as we catch up with everybody. Yeah, so this is the situation. Let me show you my room. We're actually at the reception. Let me give out my passport so that we can, we can be allocated the room. Okay. Yeah, this is my passport. Let me show you how. Oh yeah, yeah. you guys, this is the room. <laughs> just simple. So we have, oh my god, the mirror is just here. We have the mirror. They give you toothbrush, toothpaste, 
hand wash, a small soap though, washroom, like hot shower. Oh, this is a small shower. I haven't seen such. Yeah, a toilet paper, just normal room. I'm sleeping here alone, you guys. This is nice. a small a bed, queen size bed. Not bad, just a small architecture. Yeah, then a wardrobe, a towel. Yeah, nothing much. You have a safe here. Yeah, this is my luggage. I'm so tired, you guys. Let me tell you, I haven't, I haven't showered for the last since Wednesday. Today is on, on a Friday. I haven't showered since then, so I need to like take a warm, long shower <sighs> in here. Yeah, and rest a little bit. We're going to meet others too in the next like an hour. So. Yes, and they have Wi-Fi, so I'm going to upload. I have, I'm re I've already edited like two videos. I'm going to upload everything today. So you guys, let me shower. I'll get to see you when we go out. Yay, what do you think about this room, you guys? I think I love it. It's pretty simple for me alone. Yep. <laughs> We have changed. Now we are going to have dinner with the rest. So apparently we were booked at a different hotel for everybody. So everybody is in different hotel. So we are going to one place to have dinner. They're all over. Yeah. Done eating. I'm actually at Wanjiku's room. Actually, they are the organizers and they get to get like Ready the biggest. For our African watch attire. Here's my kitenge. I forgot to carry mine. And my Maasai, whatever. But then I don't think we are going because of the rain. It's raining outside. We are going. It's raining. We are going. Okay. I'm, I'm so tired. Mm. Guys, and then there's this Rwandan, it's like a Rwandan journal. It has everything about Rwanda. Hello. 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 Guys, so this is the map of Rwanda. And we're actually in the western province right now where this place is called Rubavu next to DRC Congo, you know, the border is like one kilometer away from here. Yeah, so this book actually shows everything. This is the president of the Republic of Rwanda, Paul Kagame, then former British Prime Minister. Yeah, so this is basically everything about Rwanda. It has like all the history about Rwanda, from roads, from people. 